Hey, third grade Stemsters, Mr. Santella here with another second step lesson. Before we get into today's lesson, let's think about what we learned in the last two lessons. The last two lessons helped us to be a really good learner. There were some tips and some skills that we talked about to help us be an amazing learner. Let's go ahead and see what they were. The first was to focus our attention. And if you remember, I talked about binoculars, right? You have to focus binoculars. So when you need to focus your attention, focus your binoculars, right? And that's using your eyes, ears, and brain to really focus on what you're doing, what activity it is, but to also block out distractions. Another skill that we talked about was that active listening, really focusing your attention on the speaker and think about the words they're actually saying, okay? That is a great way to show them that you are listening to them and that what they have to say is important, okay? Now remember, I talked about waiting to talk and listening. There's a difference. When you're listening, you're hearing what the other person is saying, you're thinking about it. When you're waiting to talk, you're just like, when is this person gonna stop talking so I can start talking? That's not listening, okay? All right. Last week, we learned about self-talk. Now, self-talk is a great way to tell yourself to focus your attention or to do that active listening, okay? So self-talk is talking or thinking to yourself to help you focus on a specific task. So how you do that is you use a quiet voice, you tell yourself to focus on a person, an activity, a lesson, whatever it is you need to focus on, and you tell yourself to ignore any distractions. I use self-talk all the time. Before I make these videos, I self-talk my way through them. Okay, Mr. Santella, you're gonna talk about this. You really need to focus on this. So I use self-talk in all parts of my life. It is a great tool to help me focus and hopefully to help you focus. All right, moving on to today's lesson. Today's second step lesson is about being assertive. All right, so during this lesson, you will learn what being assertive actually means. You'll learn the difference between passive, assertive, and aggressive communication. You'll, you'll learn why being assertive is important. You'll learn when to be assertive. So then when you're done with this lesson, you'll be able to use assertive communication skills when you need, not just at school, but just in your life in general. All right, so being assertive means asking for something you want or need in a calm and firm voice, all right? So we're gonna watch a video that talks about the difference, difference between passive, assertive, and aggressive communication. And this little picture here also kind of gives us a good visual about um, the difference between being passive, assertive, or aggressive when you communicate with somebody. Learn to communicate assertively by Blue Jack Kids. There are three types of communication, passive, assertive, and aggressive. Assertive people speak up for themselves in a calm way and express their opinions. Passive people don't speak up or give their opinions. Aggressive people hurt others with their words or actions to get what they want. Let's practice our communication skills. You are waiting in line. Someone cuts you off. The passive person says, um, and doesn't say anything. You are waiting in line. Someone cuts you off. The aggressive person says, get lost. I was here first. You are waiting in line. Someone cuts you off. The assertive person says, excuse me, I was waiting in line.
assertive communication is the way to go. Blue Jack Kids. All right, so moving on. This is my friend Naomi. And in this picture, you can see she's kind of looking at this table. Well, here's the situation. Naomi came into class late, which happens to just about everybody at some point in their life. So she needs to join this group. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to pretend I'm Naomi, and I'm going to try to join this group in three different ways. And I want to see if you can pick if I'm being assertive, if I'm being passive, or if I'm being aggressive with my communication. You ready? All right. So Naomi walks in. She walks up to the group and she says, um, I, uh, I, I, I came in late and I uh, just wanted to know if I could um, maybe like join your group. All right, passive, assertive, or aggressive? Absolutely passive. I use the word um a lot. I wasn't even like looking, I was kind of looking down. I wasn't making eye contact. I was very passive. And even I was, I was soft when I was talking and my voice was kind of low, okay? So here's another one, you ready? Naomi walks into the room. She walks up to the group and she's like, hey everybody. I'm a part of this group. You need to let me know what we're doing right now. Passive, assertive, aggressive. Aggressive, right? I was loud. I used words like, I need now, like you need to tell me now, right? My voice was kind of loud. Um, definitely very aggressive. All right, so let's try a third scenario. Naomi walks in. She says, excuse me, the teacher said uh, I need to join this group and I would love if you guys could fill me in on what you're doing. Boom, very nice, calm, oh, sorry. That was being assertive. Very calm voice, very um, firm voice. I wasn't timid, I wasn't hiding, I wasn't like, ah, you need to let me in your group, right? So assertive is the way to go. All right, now here is a looks like, feels like, and sounds like chart on how to be assertive. So when you, it looks like your heads, your head and shoulders are up. So you're, you're looking up, you're making eye contact with whoever it is you're communicating with, okay? It feels calm. I feel like I'm, I'm good, I'm just calm. Firm, but you also feel confident, okay? And then it sounds like using respectful words, a respectful voice, and a regular volume on your voice, okay? So if you use those looks like, feels like, and sounds like, it will help you be assertive. All right, so being assertive. Here's just another poster that um, talks about the looks like, feel like, and sounds like. Again, heads, head and shoulders are up. You're making eye contact. It feels like you're calm, firm, and confident. It sounds like you're using respectful words or respectful voice and your volume, your voice volume is um, just a regular tone. All right, scholars. So the song, Be a Learner, we've listened to it twice already. We listened to it in the first week and we listened to it in the second week. The first week we focused on focus your attention and listen. Last week we focused on self-talk. This week, I want you to focus on assertive. So this song talks about all of those, focusing your attention, listening, using self-talk, and being assertive. I want to see how many times you can count the um, musician saying the word assertive. You ready? Let's do it. Be respectful, yeah, yeah. Be skillful, yeah, yeah. Be a learner, yeah, 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 yeah. Be respectful, be skillful, be a learner, yeah, yeah. You come. 
come to school to learn Well, there's lots of things to see and do So make the most of it The power is inside of you Focus attention Listen with your ears, eyes, and brain Use your self-talk Be assertive and you will gain The lesson is starting up Your eyes and ears are focused in When someone starts to talk Show your respect by listening Focus attention Listen with your ears, eyes, and brain Use your self-talk Be assertive and you will gain Be respectful Yeah, yeah Be skillful Yeah, yeah Be a learner Yeah, 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 yeah Be respectful You got it. Keep saying, stay on task. Ignore distractions, that's the key. And when you need some help, be sure to ask assertively. Focus attention. Listen with your ears, eyes, and brain. Use your self talk. Be assertive, and you will gain. Be respectful. Yeah, yeah. Be skillful. Yeah, yeah. Be a learner. All right, scholars. So I heard them, I heard the uh, musician say assertive or assertively four times. All right, that's the lesson I have for today. So till I see you next week, have a good rest of your week. Bye.